How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here to talk to you about this Gretsch Brooklyn Series Steel Snare Drum. This is a really, really cool snare drum, very versatile, lots of great sounds out of one drum, and it's great looking as well. And it's Gretsch, which means it's going to sound good because Gretsch makes great products for sure. This is a 6.5 by 14 snare drum, steel shell, 2 millimeters thick. It's got this really killer shiny chrome finish. It also has this knurled little center stitching here that looks really, really cool from far away. Just gives a little more dimension to the shell. It's got some great hardware features and it sounds great and plays great too. Some of the hardware features you get with this drum are Gretsch's lightning throw off. It's a really nice throw off, very easy to use. One finger flips it up and down. The snare wires get adjusted from the other side. They're 10 lug, they call it their 302 double flange tube. It's kind of like a half, it's a middle ground between a die cast hoop and a triple flange hoop. It's flanged on the bottom but not on the top. It's a really nice hoop. Really good on the rim shots when you play the drum. It also comes with a 30 degree bearing edge which is a kind of unique to Gretsch drums. The heads sit on perfectly nice, not too sharp, not too dull. It gives a drum a really, really great tone. And like I said, this is a really versatile drum. You get a nice high crack. I have it pitched up really high right now and uh, it just feels really good. Great rebound in the hands and like I said, a nice crack, so here we go. That rim shot will cut through any mix for sure. Live, studio, doesn't matter where you are. Cool, the ring on the drum is nice and pleasant. Good pleasant tone from the ring. And like, yeah, double stroke rolls feel really good and easy to play in the hands. It's really, really cool. And like I said, this versatile drum can get you many, many tones. You can tune it down nice and low and get that sort of Don Henley-ish set 1970s kind of dead thud sound. Let me do that for you real quick. Okay, I've tuned the drum down quite a bit and all I did to do that was I tuned the lug down almost to, well, com to completely loose and then got it just barely tight. A little bit like a quarter turn, half turn to get it just kind of connected there. And then grab your trusty moon gel. You only need a little bit of this. You can use tape, although I don't recommend tape, or a wallet, anything like that to give it a little bit of dampening. But a little half piece of moon gel works really, really great. Just stick it on, I don't know, about an inch away from the rim. And all of a sudden you have that great thuddy 70s snare drum sound. You can even go even lower if you want to tune the bottom head down even, even looser and you even go even lower pitched. And what's cool is that the drum still has the rebound and the sensitivity in the hands even tuned down this low. So it's really, really nice. All right, and then if you want to get back up to that cracking, kind of cut through anything kind of mix, just tune her back up and you're good to go. All right, the drum is back up to its high pitch and that took just seconds to do. And the drum sounds really, really good all the way to the edge of the drum. The snare buzz is just right. Then the great crack right back in the center. This is a really, really cool drum. So if you're in the market for a, well, beautiful, Great sounding, versatile drum. This Gretsch Brooklyn Series steel drum could definitely be a good option for you to check out. If you need any more information, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer.